can actually move his body if I walk into it. It's kind of subtle, but I can notice his head was kind of like moving backwards. What is this like on the walls, honestly? Look at this. It's like oozing black death. It's very nasty, very disgusting, horribly wrong. That's right, wrong. Flames of death. I wonder what that could be. Let's see, what's this? Ooh, shiny. It's a furnace key. <laughs> awesome, we got a furnace key. I'll oh, smash over these. Alright, and now watch what happens. Okay, well, I'll see it. So, see in here, these flames are here. It's like sort of like a broom. It's got like a little caution, you know, black and yellow thing on the side. Press this button here, watch what happens. Well, pull the lever, actually. Oh no, quarantine! Are we in de dead space? No, this is Resident Evil 5, not dead space, which means something else is gonna happen. It's a maybe. Whoa, fire! Ooh, and smoke comes out there. Whoa, yes, that's right, we just unleashed the hell upon that room. It is a quarantine room. This is why I said it was the lab earlier. Uh, you know, this is how they sterilize stuff. Um, yeah, so... Oh, and also, there's propane tanks here. I'm gonna uh, pause for a second, because I need to change the video real quick. All and I cleared it. Okay, well, we're back. And now... Whoa, what the... Dripping from the ceiling, something is. Okay, so... Now we're gonna go over here and open that door that was locked earlier because we have the key. Dripping stuff. Ooh, cutscene. Children, this way. Fall back. We are running because there is a giant tentacle monster chasing us. Why the hell does a giant tentacle monster chase us? I don't know. So we knock these over. Fucking gas tanks. Giants. I guess in the propane tanks. Yeah, he's chasing us. Chasing us, uh, propane thing. He's gonna get stuck on him. We will shoot the propane thing. It hurts. But also, it does something else. But I just kind of actually figured that out just to get back out what it actually does. And I'll tell you once he gets stuck on this other propane thing. See, me and my friend actually played through this bit. And like I said before, this is only the last bit that I played through. Essentially, to beat this guy, what I just pulled out my head was, I was You have to, oh god. What was that? Uh, okay, well, basically, what you have to do is, you have to lure him here. Uh, I want to make the other side, actually. Blow it up just yet. Essentially, what you want to do is, you want to lure him in that quarantine, and then while he has the propane tank stuck on him, you want to blow him. No, I want to blow up him. Okay, that was, that was a bad example. Well, now I got tentacles all over. The tentacle monster has tentacle, tentacle. So, that's not good. So, basically, okay, let's try this again. What I just figured out was you want to lure the giant tentacle monster with the propane tank stuck in him. Um, the propane tank is not on him anymore. Damn it. <laughs> okay, we well, want him to get stuck in that, so. Yeah, we just need to shoot! 
Concerned she seems with the fact that she just fought a giant tentacle monster. I mean, I understand that they were just fighting off villagers who had like tentacles coming out of the faces and stuff, but you'd think she would be a little shaken up by a giant tentacle monster that basically just tried to rape the two of us. Well, anyway, another annoying thing is I thought that, that guy would be dropping something like a gem, like he, like the other Resident Evil Four bosses did, but whatever. Using key, and now we kick open the door. Because we are Chris Redfield and Sheva, and we have no respect for people's property. Another body. How's it going, buddy? <sighs> Ooh, what's this? Lots of handgun ammo. Well, maybe not a lot, but still a ton of ammo. Now, actually, thinking about it, I just remembered something, but I will mention it later, and I will actually make a mention of me mentioning this later. Opening the elevator. Because elevators are important to have and not good house houses for the people. Now loading. Wesker researches, blah blah blah. Yeah, like I said, I can't remember. Ooh, a security camera. Somebody's watching us. Let's go. The purple truck, Jeep, whatever. And I believe that was the bird lady from the very beginning. What is she doing in a car? Ooh, what's a suitcase in my car? I got it. What was that thing? B.O.W. that scumbag Irving left behind to set us up. Considering what it did to Alpha Team, I think we're lucky to still be breathing. Big, if only we could have gotten there sooner. If we had, we'd probably be dead too. Chris to HQ, do you copy? This is HQ. Excellent work out there. We'll analyze the data immediately. This whole town's gone to hell. The people here, they're acting like those Ganado detailed in the Kennedy report. And aside from that, Ooh, there's something new, Ford. something we've Kennedy. never encountered before. Our transportation has been taken out, too. Requesting a mission update. The mission stands. Capturing Irving is your top priority. We believe we may have fled to the mines on the other side of the train station. Wait, we're the only two left. You want us to go in there alone? Dun, dun, dun. Been dispatched and are on their way. They'll assist you in locating and apprehending Irving. But wait, we can't! I repeat, your mission stands. We can't afford to let him get away. Proceed to the mines beyond the station. Over and out. This is insane! You ever get the feeling you're expendable? Thank you. 
And that's the end of mission one of two. Let's see what I got this time. Uh, accuracy, 69%. Hey. Uh, enemies killed. Ooh, you can now view the B3AA file in your library. Uh, I think it says 15. I didn't die.